Okay, we're back with another speed test, and thank you everyone for letting me know about After Effects Beta. We've got it loaded up, and I think everyone's going to be pretty happy with the results. So in this video, we're going to be testing render times, playback times, and seeing how well this new multi-frame render function works. In the new After Effects beta version, they also give you a benchmark file where you can test your own equipment at home against what other people have. So both of these are 14 inch MacBooks. On the left is a Pro chip with an extra $300 of GPU and CPU added to it, so it's pretty much the base model. On the right is the Max chip. This one is fully loaded, 64 gigs of RAM, and I'll show you where that comes in really handy in this multi-frame rendering option. So unfortunately the Pro model, you can only get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So if you need something speedy, you might want to get, bump it up to the 64 max chip. So let's just open up these benchmark files. I'll show you where to turn on the multi-frame rendering option. We'll run this benchmark, and then after that, I'll just open up a few files, one in 4K, one in 1080 and we'll see how well everything plays. So after you fire up After Effects, you go into your Preferences section and you head down to the Memory and Performance tab. And that is where you'll be able to see how much RAM you can reserve for After Effects. And you can also see in the Performance section on the bottom, you click that box for Enable Multi-Frame Rendering. So this is where you can see that extra RAM really comes in handy. The max version has 64 gigs, and so I've made 54 gigabytes available for After Effects, while the Pro model only has 16, and I can only give After Effects 11 gigs. So let's see if that even makes a difference. We'll head down to the render queue and do our first speed test. We're just going to export this in Apple ProRes 422. Okay, we're ready to go. And off they go. And what I really like in this new beta version is that you can check this stuff out. And here's where you can see the multi-frame rendering going on in concurrent frames rendering. All right, the Max has finished up. The Pro chip is still at 79%. Okay, the Pro has finished. Let's just run that one more time in the animation codec and see if that gives us any different results. All right, so we are going to render these in animation mode. This is the benchmark test that Adobe gives you on their beta site. Wow. The max just finished up. It says <laughs> one minute and 37 seconds for animation mode. In ProRes 422, it took 8 minutes and 28 seconds. And the Pro chip is still going.
All right, the pro chip finally finished up at six minutes and 40 seconds compared to one minute and 30 seconds on the max. Very impressive. And this is kind of a theme that we're going to be seeing over and over again. The max can go about four or five times faster on exports in this new After Effects beta. Doesn't seem buggy at all. Seems like everything is working just fine. I haven't had any crashes yet. Let's just go through a quick resolution test and see and see how these both play, these benchmark files, since you all can download this file as well, you can compare it to your system. So here's a good example. This is in full resolution mode, and you saw how fast the Max loaded everything up and Once it gets its preview on, it's perfect playing in real time. This is interesting. This was in half time. I'm not seeing the preview bar loading up. This is the third resolution. at a quarter resolution. So let's close this up. We'll open another project that I was messing with in the last After Effects speed test video. You can check that out up in the corner and we'll see how well they play some uh, real world templates. Alright, so this is a template that I've downloaded from Motion Array. I was messing around with it on the last video. And let's just go through some uh, resolution tests again real fast and see if these guys play any better. So we're on a full resolution right now. All right, they're both having some issues, but the max is going a little faster. Here's half resolution. Here it is at a third resolution. Max is back in real time. Pro still trying to get up there. And here's a quarter resolution. You can see the gains in the max preview bar down there. It's just taken off. So let's do some export tests of this session. Like last time, we don't need to export the whole one minute and 40 sessions. So I'm just going to cut these down. I actually did it for 22 seconds in the last video. So let's just Stick to the same test. Alright, so we got these sessions chopped down to 22 seconds each. And we're going to export them now, first in ProRes 422. Okay, the max has won, but just barely. I really like seeing how many frames it's rendering at the same time. All right, so the pro has finally finished up. And let's try exporting in the animation codec. The max did really well on that one last time. All right, here we go in animation mode.
All right, the max is finished up. The pro is at 79%. Pretty amazing to see how many frames it's doing at the same time. I saw it get up to seven frames at once at one point. Okay, the pro has finished up. Took about another minute. So let's open up another quick template and just run through, just for our own curiosity on this stuff. This is another template from Motion Array. I just turned off the uh, product placement stuff going on in it. It's a 4K session. We'll check out the resolution playback times for this one real quick, and then do some more export tests at the end. Okay, here's quarter resolution. Third resolution. They're having no problems with this one. Let's just take it up to full. Okay, let's export these in ProRes 422 and in animation mode. Let's see who the winner is. Okay, here we go. We're going to export a 4K session in Apple ProRes 422. All right, the max has won just by a hair. I don't know if you could see that, but these things are rendering seven, eight frames at a time. This is just amazing. Okay, here we go in animation mode. It took three seconds for the max. I didn't even have time to get to the info. What did it do? Render all of the frames all at once? Wow. So there's the pro just finished up. So three seconds compared to 25 seconds on the pro. So if you're doing stuff in animation mode a lot, if you're putting in the RGB and the alpha, the max just flies on that stuff. So very impressed with the After Effects beta version on both of these machines. This is going to save you minutes on each export. All those minutes add up, and these are minutes that you can hang out with your family and your friends. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope this helps. Please drop some comments down below, anything extra you would like to see, anything special. I'm just going to be doing these. I've got a whole list of other topics, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more stuff. I would appreciate it immensely, and thank you once again. Take care.